Gear fear is a popular topic among Tarkov players, and I'm sure you've heard it mentioned before. Now, a lot of players struggle with this, including myself, especially when being a newer player to the game. Now, today we're going to break down all the methods that I use to overcome gear fear back when I was a new player. So let's jump right in. Gear fear is an obstacle for a lot of players, especially when they are new to Tarkov. Now, the reason that you have gear fear can vary from person to person, but this video is meant to help you get over that feeling regardless of your reasoning for having gear fear. Sometimes gear fear can be a good thing, but most of the time it can and will hold you back. In this video, we're gonna cover what is gear fear? Why does gear fear matter? How I beat gear fear, what my strategies were, as well as solo anxiety and gear fear, how they come together and how you can overcome both of them. Now, what exactly is gear fear? Gear fear is different depending on who you ask. However, for this video, we're going to use the definition of resorting to cheap loadouts when you have millions of rubles and spend them on nothing. Now, usually this means that you end up hoarding a ton of armor and guns that you never use. They may never see the light of day until the end of the life. Uh, this usually means that you run only budget loadouts, so like really cheap guns with cheap ammo. Uh, you run pistols, maybe only Mosins or VPOs. When you are fully loaded, you have slicks, you have altons, you have meta guns in your stash, and you purposefully put yourself at a disadvantage versus players, especially full geared ones, because you are afraid to die with that gear. Now, this results in having tons of weapons you'll never even use, like maybe you save a bunch of scars. When you hate scars, I have like six in my stash right now that I don't think I'll ever use, so I'm going to sell them after I make this video. But really, it's just hoarding gear that you're never going to use. Now, gear fear doesn't always mean that you're only taking in light gear, because gear fear can be good, like I was mentioning earlier, when you take in light gear when you're low on rubles. Now, the reason that this is okay is because when you're only at a million rubles or two million rubles or even less than that, you're at the point where this feeling is natural because really if you bring in uh, and buy good loadouts you can go broke in honestly two or three raids now that makes sense because you have to be very smart about your money and you have to be cautious until you build that money back up however if you have 5 million 10 million 20 million 100 million rubles if you have that much and you're still bringing in cheap loadouts that is gear fear that is when you're putting yourself uh, at disadvantage when you have no real uh fear of going broke but you some for some reason you don't want to lose the gear um if you're a newer player too it's really okay to go in with lighter gear especially to learn the game because the making loadouts is complicated and it's a lot easier to make pistol loadouts or mosin loadouts when you're newer than having to build a, a gun from scratch every single time so gear fear isn't always bad well especially when you're broke or when you're new to the game but you have to eventually get out of this stage or become problematic What's so bad about gear fear? Why does it matter? And how can it hold me back? To best understand this, let's imagine two different scenarios. In scenario A, our PMC has few guns and few armor in his stash. He doesn't keep very much around. He doesn't have very many rules, anywhere from about 3 to 5 million, and he started his wipe very uncomfortable with PvP. Now, throughout the wipe, he used most of his gear and guns that he ran into. He fought a ton of players, and he learned a lot from fighting. He learned a lot from deaths, winning, and overall, he's very comfortable fighting other players. In scenario B, however, our PMC has a ton of armor and gear in his stash. He's hoarded everything he's ran into. Most of it's been in there for months. Uh, he has over 100 million rubles, saves all of his money, doesn't spend it very much. He started his wipe very uncomfortable PvP, and throughout the wipe, he kept all of his gear in his stash. He really fought other players, he avoided fights, and he is still, at the end of the wipe, uncomfortable fighting other players. Now, it sounds like Scenario B is really ideal. However, now imagine the game wipes, and everything is gone. Your level resets, your account resets, all of your progress is gone. You both have nothing to show for your stash, all of your rubles and items are gone. Player A crushes this next wipe because even though he has no rubles to show from last wipe, the skill that he gained transcends wipes. BSG can take away your rubles, but they cannot take away your skill. Player B, however, has a really rough start to this wipe because he has no rubles or progress to show from his last wipe at all because everything resets and he didn't really have the chance to grow as a player, so he started this wipe the same as he started last wipe, and he doesn't really have the best chance going forward. Now, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with accumulating a lot of wealth in Tarkov, farming rubles, and getting a ton of money in gear. However, there is a problem with making all that money to hold on to gear that you'll never use, and use nothing but cheap loadouts, because that'll hold you back as a player, and that is gear fear holding back what you could be in future wipes. Because, again, that skill transcends from wipe to wipe. Now, all the gear in your stash has an expiration date, and it's important to note that. No matter what you do, the gear that you have accumulated throughout the wipe will be gone at a certain day. 
So you might as well use it and lose it before it's taken away from you from BSG. So at least you can have some fun using the gear, make some good memories, get better at the game, instead of letting it sit in your stash and go to waste. Tarkov is a unique game which can make it feel so amazing and scary to play at the same time. One of the best parts about this game is the feeling of coming out on top. Loss can be a terrible feeling, which is what can lead to not wanting to use gear. So it's only natural to have gear fear, especially if Tarkov is your first game like this. I used to keep all my best gear in my stash, and I know I'm not alone in saying this. There are a lot of strategies I used to get over gear fear, so hopefully some of these can help you out as well. Mentality is extremely important to help you get over gear fear. A lot of players view death as a failure in this game, however I find death to be an opportunity to help you grow and learn from your mistakes. Those moments where you go, why did I repeat that? Why didn't I hit fire? Oh my god, I should have thrown a nade. Why didn't I flank? These are all moments where you identify mistakes and you can use these to grow and learn to become a better player throughout countless encounters like this. You need to die in this game to get better because the only way that you will realize you're doing something wrong and that you made a mistake. Realizing these mistakes is what allows you to correct them and then you can improve because to get better at anything in life, you need to realize there was a mistake, identify the mistake, reflect on how to fix the issue, and then you need to apply that info later on and just repeat that process and over just countless raids and hours and mistakes that you make, you will slowly become a better and better player that across even weeks or months, you will just see noticeable difference in your entire gameplay. Whenever I fight someone, I identify what I did wrong and what I did right. And I try to figure out what helped me win the fight and what helped me lose the fight. And if I win a fight, I say, how could I have lost this? What did I do wrong this time? And if I lose a fight, I go, okay, what did I do right? I did these things good. And then what did I do wrong? Okay, this is why I lost it. I, I shouldn't have repeated into his pre-fire. That was awful. This is called growth and reflecting on these mistakes and identifying what your win conditions and what your lose conditions are in gunfights is really what helps you play. Don't let a team trap you in your room because you're going to die. Don't let a guy with a shotgun get in your face. That's really not good. Little things like that and you can build off of that to help you become a better player. One of my favorite strategies was what I call using loadouts that are within reach. By within reach, I'm using a loadout that will not break the bank, and you can make this loadout 5 or 10 times. So, for example, use a meta gun with budget armor and good ammo, or you could use a budget gun with really good armor and, like, decent ammo. The idea here is you want to break the ice. You want to understand what it is to lose some gear, and it's okay, because you have so many more gear sets. So, you get used to experiencing loss without it feeling so detrimental. So, you're losing only one or two good things when you die, and you have so many of them set out, and you when you make these loadouts, you can kind of consider them already gone, right? It's kind of like when you go to a casino and you gamble. That money you consider, it's just gone. So you get used to that loss, and it's okay to build it up, because a lot of times you actually come out of these raids, and you're going to come out with wins under your belts, and these wins are going to help you build that confidence. And even if you do die, the deaths make you kind of more and more numb, and you learn from the mistakes, and you go, okay, even though I died and I lost this gun, I still feel like I'm improving which is really good feelings. If you can die and you could take anything away from that death, that is improvement. Now, if you're looking for some budget gun builds, I actually have a video on my channel. I'm going to leave linked in the description if you want to check some of those out to help you make some loadouts for yourself to go ahead and test this out. One of the best strategies for a lot of people is using a money buffer. So a money buffer refers to a set amount of rubles that when you hit this, you start running budget loadouts and you go back to farming to a set ruble amount. So let's say, for example, your money buffer is 5 million rubles. The second that you drop down to 5 million rubles, you're going to go back to using your budget loadouts, your cheap loadouts, whatever you want to use, and you're going to go back to farming rubles until you get to a comfortable number. So if your money buffer is 5 mil, maybe you farm until 10 mil, and then once you hit 10 mil, you would go back to your best gear, your best weapons, your best ammo, and you fight players to learn from your fights. And then again, if you lose all the way back down to your 5 million rubles, then you go back into farm mode and you farm up to 10 million rubles. And then you're going to rinse and repeat this process over and over again, and pretty much the idea is every single cycle you go through, you should be learning things to improve. So as you're improving, the next time you go through this cycle of hitting 10 mil and then dropping down, it should take you longer and longer to drop. Now, everyone has good days and bad days, so this isn't always going to be the case. But ideally, over the time, it should help you get a lot better. And then you have this safe zone where you have to worry about going broke because this safe zone is a huge buffer where even if you had a terrible day and you dropped to this number instantly, you'd still have a ton of money to fall back on so you don't have to worry about actually being broke. You can just pretend like you're broke and farm back up to be safe. Pretty much this next strategy is made to make you stop hoarding gear. What you're going to do is you're going to sell gear that you are never going to use to buy gear. Now, there are tons of weapons in your stash, armors, helmets that you don't want to wear. You don't like them but you told yourself that you might wear them because they're worth money and the gun builds might be good, but maybe you hate the gun. Like, I have tons of Scar H's and Scar L's in my stash that I'm looking at right now, 
and I'm never going to use these things. I don't like this gun at all. Maybe you love it, but this isn't for me. So I'm going to go ahead and sell this gun. And maybe you don't like the MDR, you don't like the foul, but you have some of those in your stash. If you don't like them, then just sell them and get rid of them. And what you can do with that money is notice how much money you go up when you do that. And you can put all the money you get from selling that useless gear, and you can put that into weapons and armor that you actually like. Maybe you really like the MK18. And you don't really buy them because they're kind of expensive, but you just sold a bunch of M1As because you hate that gun. Now you can use that money to go ahead and buy the stuff that you want, and if you lose it, it's okay because you got rid of this gear that you were hoarding, taking up states that you're never going to use, and it's pretty much just free money to go ahead and use gear sets, and if you die with it, who cares because it was just free money you weren't going to get normally if you didn't use, use the strategy. This next one is called Objective-Based Gameplay, and this pretty much is the core element to how I play Tarkov. Pretty much when I'm playing, I have different... Uh, game plans or ideas in my head that I stick to the entire time. So, for example, I have a PvP mode, a money farming mode, a questing mode, an XP farming mode, and these modes will rarely interfere. I don't really deviate from what I want to do. So, when I want to PvP and I want to fight players, I run at all the shots I hear, I run towards players, I take all the fights I can until there are no more fights to take, and then I head out of the raid and I go again. I don't go to my for loot, I just focus on the fighting. But when I want to farm money, I avoid players in PvP, I run away from shots, I just go ahead and pick up items fast, and then I reset to help me get some money. Now, the security in me not going broke comes from the idea that I don't need a ton of rubles or gear to make money. I am comfortable with the idea of when I need to farm money, I go into this money farming mode, and I do things that are safe and reliable for me to get money, and I just avoid everything that I can. So, for example, I do stash running on a quiet map like Interchange or on Woods, which is pretty much guaranteed free cash. Uh, you can play Shoreline, which has... Not that many people, especially on nighttime, it's kind of free. You can also farm reserve toolboxes or duffel bags, which sounds not that great, but it can net some serious profit. And we can also do things like farm the back of Ollie, farm the back of Goshan, or even Goshan food runs. And there are tons of guides on this later to come. If you want to check out my shoreline guide, I'll leave that link in the description for you to check out. Now, focusing on these different modes is a way to hold yourself accountable. So pretty much you can't run away from fights or tell yourself, well, I wanted to come here for money, uh, but now I'm going to fight this five man even though I'm really broke and then you go broke and it's not good or vice versa Maybe you find a Plushie or an item that you want, but isn't actually like needed uh, Just something that sells for a little bit and then you go well I would fight this guy, but I actually need this money even though you have 10 Trillion rubles and you came in here with the idea to fight So what I would recommend is telling yourself what the goal is before you even get in that raid and stick to that goal Don't be the guy who says I hate Sherlock. I can't get my quest done and the reason you can't do them is because you go into resort to delete your folder and then you also loot 25 rooms on top of that and you die after you loot 25 rooms. It's like, stop being greedy. Go get your folder. You're in questing mode. Get your quest done. Get the item. Get out. And don't greed. This last section is going to briefly discuss playing the game solo because a lot of people only have gear fear when they play solo and not really when they play in groups because maybe they're comfortable with the fact that their team can ditch their gear and they won't lose as much money when they do that and their friends are also bringing gear so they kind of have to. But a lot of players deal with what's called solo anxiety which is where you don't really ever play solo because you're kind of nervous of it and it makes you feel uneasy and you just hate the feeling of being nervous. Now maybe you sit in your stash all day when there's no one on and you just sell on the market and organize your stash. Maybe you only do scav raids or you only do uh, budget raids where you go like a pistol or a Mosin or a KS-23 only when you have like 15 million rubles. This is pretty much a form of gear fear mixed with solo anxiety and they can really amplify each other. Now I have a whole guide based off of solo play and how to get better at playing solo as well as how to get over solo anxiety which i go really in depth on if you want to learn more about that i'll leave a video linked in the description as well as at the top uh, i used to hate playing solo but i got really really used to playing solo after a lot of uh my teammates kind of stopped playing the game and i wanted to keep playing and i really didn't like it at all but i used a lot of different methods to help me get over playing the game solo it's just it's a lot of fun and it's very rewarding if you get used to it and getting over solo anxiety can actually help you get over gear fear as well because if you can rely on yourself to play solo then you can rely on yourself to take care of your own gear especially when you do use things that are a little more expensive and it just helps you improve overall guys that was the guide i hope it was helpful and i really hope you begin that journey to get over gear fear i know it's a long step and it can take people longer than others, but I do hope that this video sets you down the right path to get past that feeling. Now, if you enjoyed the video, hit that sub button, hit the like button, and 
comment down below what you want to see next and hit that bell to see more awesome guides. We have tons more planned on the channel that will be coming to you guys shortly, as well as we have already great guides on the channel for you to go ahead and check out whenever you want. Now, if you want to pop out the stream, I'm live every single day, uh, noon Eastern, link in description. Hope to see you guys there, and until next time, peace.